Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about uh, packaging of Moringa powder. So the packaging when we say it is a physical material which will cover your value added products and that will support in extending the shelf life of the commodity during that storage period. So mainly this packaging material it has to follow the following functions particularly the containment which means it has to hold your product and the second thing it has to protect your food items from different uh, environments for example uh, ambient environment physical environments where the vibrations or pins will be there otherwise human environments particularly the handling and transportation so in such a case your packaging materials not only it will protect your food items also which will support or maintain the quality during that storage period so mainly if you see the types of packaging it is a primary packaging secondary packaging and tertiary packaging when we say the primary packaging the food item it has the direct contact with the packaging material and uh, secondary packaging means for handling purpose this type of packaging will be used where the primary packed food items will be placed in the secondary packaging material and the third one is tertiary packaging where the number of secondary packaging material will be placed into the tertiary packaging material so this type of things which will be used in the transportation purpose second if you see the packaging requirements of that moringa powder so normally this powder it will be in the dried form the matcha content will be very less so what will happen it will try to absorb the environment moisture to make it equilibrium so whenever it starts absorbing moisture so that clogging formation will be taking place and because of that the uh, chemical changes will be taking place and that will cause the spoilage of the food items so in such a case when we go for selecting of that packaging material or packaging methodology we have to see the requirements of the process so in such a case the packaging material it has to protect our moringa powder from that spillage as well as that spoilage also the packaging material should have i barrier for water vapor and oxygen because mainly these two things involved in the chemical reactions as well as that microbial growth so in such a case our packaging material should not allow the oxygen as well as that moisture to enter and another thing the packaging material should not allow the light to uh, intrude as well as it should not allow any aroma or flavor component which will escape from the food items to the environment the packaging material we are designing or we are making according to the consumer requirements and as well as our packaging material it has to satisfy the consumer level of expectation it should be reusable or recyclable it should not create any environmental pollutions and also it has to support the industrial operations particularly the machinability printability always easy disposable all these things the packaging material uh, should uh, support the bigger production line as well as the industry and uh, our products whenever we stored in the ambient conditions always whenever we stored in the refrigerated conditions our packaging material it has to withstand such a temperatures during the storage so all these things are major requirements of that uh, packaging 
and if you see the major packaging material used in the moringa powder uh, so one is that uh, glass bottles these glass bottles particularly for the convenient form of the consumers uh, it is available starting from filling of 100 gram to even 1 kg of uh, moringa powders and another thing that uh, cotton boxes paper based packaging materials are used in the industry so where the moringa powder will be uh, packed in the metallized pouch or is multi layer material then these things will be placed in the cotton boxes and that will be easily uh, placed in the shelf or racks and another thing uh, mainly they are using a plastic so either it may be a plastic container or flexible pouches are used in the moringa powder industry and these things available starting from minimum quantity of packaging to the the bigger quantity even 10 kg or 20 kg of moringa powder can be packed in the uh, liner bags so mainly the packaging material uh, plastics used in the industry is a polyester metallized to polyester ldp this combination uh, multi layer can be used otherwise bopp biaxially oriented polypropylene or low density polyethylene otherwise biaxially oriented polypropylene metallized uh, polyester and uh, low density polyethylene otherwise polyester aluminum foil and uh, low density polyethylene so these are all the different uh, uh, packaging materials or combinations are used in the moringa powder packaging industry and all these materials having different uh, characteristics so according to your uh, product quality nutrition value maintenance as well as the shelf life extensions you can select uh, any one of these packaging material for the users and mainly when we see the filling of moringa powder uh, in the packaging material so this packaging process involved the following four uh, sections one is that filling sections sealing sections labeling sections and the uh, end of line section so here the filling sections particularly the moringa powder packed in the pa packaging material it will be filled using any one of the filling machines so here the first one is uh, auger or agitator filling machines so in this auger or agitator filling machines so the screw barrel will be there so the materials will be taken in the feed offer and based on that uh, screw rotations the quantity of materials will be filled in the bottles or which will be filled in the pouches so it will be a batch method so filling will be done in the separate sections and after that sealing of or the closure will be taking place in another sections so it is called uh, auger or agitator filling machines and uh, second if you see that uh, flow filling machines so these flow filling machines uh, which is used uh, in a continuous operations so particularly it is used in the liquid food items even that uh, powdered items so if it is having a proper uh, gravity values and easy free flowing so this type of uh, filling also which is used in the processing line and another thing the moringa powder nowadays in uh, available in another form like a tablet so the powder will be compressed in such a way so it will be converted as a tablet and these tablets will be filled in a plastic containers it will be filled as per the number number basis for example is each plastic container which can hold around 50 tablets or 25 tablets so like that it is available that a tablet filler machines and uh, nowadays uh, a continuous production line they are using this uh, if you see the second picture it is a form fill sealing machines so it is available either you can fill either 50 gram or 100 gram or uh, 250 gram so like that uh, retail packages also we can make it out and uh, by using this uh, form fill sealing machines and this is also uh, working uh, 
based on uh, auger filling methods or is uh, cup filling method so according to the particle size you can select any one of the filling machines in the processing line another one is uh, that is sealing sections so particularly uh, either we will use uh, impulse sealing machines in when we pack the powder in the pouches so that hand operated uh, impulse sealing machines uh, which can be supported otherwise when we make this moringa powder in the tablet so if you see that uh, first uh, photo so the blister packaging machines are available so blister packaging materials also available so this material you can buy and you can fill the tablets in the pouches then using that uh, blister sealing machines you can seal the uh, packaging materials and you can sell your product in the market and the second picture is the capsule filling machines so before going for the blister packaging so initially uh, they will use the empty capsules to fill the moringa powder in the capsules so after filling it will be taken to the blister packaging method for the sealing purpose another method if you see induction sealing machines are available so in this following picture shows that the induction uh, sealer and this induction sealer mainly it is used for uh, sealing that uh, uh, the closures in the plastic containers or glass bottles where that moisture or gases will not enter so this materials having a multi layer so for example pulp board paper board foil will be there and heat seal film either polyethylene or polypropylene will be there these three things will be joined together and uh, this closures will be sealed by using this uh, induction sealing machines so this is another method of sealing used in the industry next one is labeling sections so in this labeling sections either the labels will be uh, placed over the packaging materials otherwise the labels will be printed over the packaging materials so in such a case the types of labeling machines used in the processing industry particularly that uh, moringa powder packaging industry it is a flat class labeling machines so here what will happen so if the uh, if uh, the cotton boxes or if it is a plastic containers so over that if you want to place the labels so these labels will be uh, printed uh, placed or pasted over the flat containers and the second thing if you see uh, the, the second machine it is a round bottle labeling machines so where the bottle will be placed in the uh, between the rollers and the labels will be uh, rolled on it and the sealing will be taking place so it is a round bottle labeling machines and another one is called uh, side of the glass labeling machine so the third pictures if you see so here the bottles will come through the conveyor in a continuous manner and also the stickers the labels which will also come in another line so both the things will be uh, joined or otherwise that stickers will be placed over the bottles in the uh, labeling line so it is used in the continuous operations so once we uh, fill the product in the pouches once we completed the closures once we completed the labeling so next one is it has to be uh, transported from the factory to the retail shop or is from uh, factory to the another uh, distribution center so in such a case uh, the secondary packaging material or uh, tertiary packaging are involved uh, for the bulk transportation so under this case they will use different machineries in the industry for example the first one if you see the case erectors and the box forming machines so here the cotton boxes uh, will be placed uh, for example that 100 boxes will be placed uh, in a, a, a foldable form so these things uh, when it enter so that will be forming as a box so it will make the openings and the sealing will be done 
so the like a box formation will be taking place so these boxes will be used to for uh, uh, filling that uh, secondary packaging material or is primary packaging material and uh, second machine if you see the case sealers so once we fill all the our food items uh, in the cotton boxes so on the top the sealing will be done for joining up the uh, two ends so the case sealers will be used in the uh, industry for uh, edge sealing methods and another thing if you see that is sleeve wrappers or uh, that is sleeve wrappers or bundlers packaging machines are so available so in such a case where our uh, food items either the primary packed foods are placed in the uh, cotton trays so over that uh, plastic sleeves will be placed and uh, when it pass through the hot air oven so complete uh, sealing will be taking place so that is uh, called uh, sleeve wrappers and uh, bundlers type of packaging and uh, the last one is uh, palleting equipment so particularly in the industries uh, they will use uh, the robotics also for proper arranging of the uh, our uh, uh, packed food items in the storage goodons and the last one is uh, whenever we go for uh, and the processing of uh, or pro uh, packaging of the food items we have to follow the fssi guidelines so fssi uh, guidelines has been uh, introduced for uh, different food commodities so in such a case when we see for uh, this uh, moringa powder uh, particularly the labeling if you see so here the name of the product has to be mentioned in the label and second the complete list of the ingredients which is uh, used in the manufacturing of the moringa powder it has to be mentioned the net weight of the product it has to be mentioned the code number or batch number for uh, traceability or uh, uh, maintaining uh, the standards in the supply chain so it has to be mentioned date of manufacture as well as the expiry date nutritional information uh, about the uh, the product per 100 gram it has to be mentioned vegetarian or non vegetarian that symbols it has to be mentioned and for that also that FSSA given guidelines what is the the logo size it has to be placed according to the packaging materials uh, the display size that has to be followed for example if you use any food additives or any preservatives uh, for uh, for formation of these products that has to be mentioned and if some of the components or the products are imported from other country so that import country details has to be mentioned and also the manufacturer address a complete address of the manufacturer it has to be mentioned in the packaging materials in the labeling section so all these things are uh, FSSI uh, guidelines uh, it has to be uh, properly followed and placed in the uh, labels thank you very much